What the heck is an EGR system? Today we are going to look into a very important emission system. The EGR, or Exhaust Gas Recirculation System, is a critical component in today's vehicles. This system reduces very harmful gases from the emissions. It does so by eliminating them before they are ever produced. During the combustion process, NOx, or NOx, gases are produced when the temperature in the combustion chamber reaches 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. NOx gases are very harmful to humans and the environment, as well as being very corrosive. These gases are critical components of photochemical smog. You can see them in the smog layer as a yellow-brownish color. Suffice it to say, they are not something we want around. Enter General Motors in the 1970s. They developed and pioneered the EGR systems. These systems proved to be very effective at reducing NOx gases. Soon, the majority of manufacturers were implementing their own EGR. It was also applied to diesel engines with excellent results. In the early days, many of us removed this system because it was believed that it would decrease vehicle performance. EGR actually has no effect on performance when operating properly. The real performance robber was in the drop and compression ratios. So how do EGR systems function? At its simplest form, it takes exhaust gases from the exhaust manifold and routes it back into the combustion chamber. The mixing in these exhaust gases reduces the oxygen content in the chamber and lowers the temperatures in the process. This keeps the process below the NOx temperature producing levels. Digging deeper into the system, it uses a series of tubes to route the gases to a location where it can be injected into the flame front. This is usually monitored by a valve that previously was controlled by vacuum and is now monitored by the ECM. The flow is monitored very carefully to allow just the proper amount of EGR to be let in. This is dependent on engine speed and load. The main components of this system are the piping, the valve itself, and usually some sort of position sensor on the valve. There are also gaskets on all critical sealing surfaces. Since these systems involve exhaust gases, they are prone to carbon and soot buildup and can require service. Manufacturer specifications and procedures must be followed due to the highly regulated emission regulations in place. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time.